Shento? Ja, ze beide. Did you hear that Megan got corona? <gasps> Van wel uitloop. Van wel. I told her not to go outside. She said that she needed to go to work. She is a housewife. Since when is talking cuck and essential service? Hi, my name is Mark Fitzgibbon and welcome to my vlog. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure to drop a like and a subscribe so that you can tell the YouTube algorithm that you like locally made content. Lockdowns have brought out the best and the worst in people all across the world. And while a lot of lucky people can work from home, there are others that are struggling to make ends meet. Yeah, not so essential, ne? Nah. But we must stay positive during these crazy times. And that's why I thought it would be a good idea to share some of the gems I found around the house while doing some cleaning. Why sit around the house scommeling when you can pick up a broom and clean? That's what I always say. Stinkgatter, take note. So Shantel, how do you practice social distancing? Oh, it's easy, zoopy zoops. Every time someone wants to visit me, I say for check. Go make a TikTok video or something. Don't let them in your house. You don't know who's got this rona. Every bloody mate and gentoo in the road wants to come for tea. Food check. Your tea then tastes cuck anyway. Stay at home. Can anybody tell me what this is? This Generation Z is a floppy disk. They actually used these as storage devices in the old days. This one actually has Microsoft Windows on it. It's an operating system disk. One of... 14. <laughs> a whopping 1.44 megabytes. It's almost as much storage capacity as my little. You push it in and it opens like this and then the computer will read whatever is on that little floppy disk inside. They still actually use the icon of the floppy disk for save logos all over the internet and on your computer. I'm sure you've seen this before. This little book actually made me laugh. Can anyone remember this? This is really showing you how old I am. I'm 26. The exact mobile booklet. So before the internet, what people had to do to get like music and wallpapers on their phones, or on their bricks rather, they had to get this book and then they'd have these little codes that you have to SMS to a number. It's there. Bad boy. Oh, this used to be all of the rave back in the day. Can you remember those things? No. <laughs> oh, check the advert. This is, wait, let me focus quickly. This is like the latest phone at the time, Nokia 7650. It says here, the world's first digital camera phone. Ah. Thanks, Nokia, you changed the game. Now, where are you? Where are you, Nokia? Anastasia, Ricky Martin, Celine Dion, George Michael. You just SMS that code, and then you get a monotone ringtone. That's Living La Vida Loca. Loco. Yeah. The amount of times I SMS this number. Shoo! I thought I'd do a little hat change. Who remembers Mix It? I actually did a video. You can uh, check this card right here and you can see the video I made about Mix It. This was a vibe. Before Facebook, before WhatsApp. Are we baby girl 97XOXO? Oh, she's flat. It looks like I'm wearing a helmet, but this is actually all cruise hair and a lot of gel. Chantal, after you went to the shops earlier, did you wash your hands? No. Why? Dittif. I also found some old toys in my cupboard while cleaning it out. This used to be one of my favorites. It's like a little man that sits on this dragon thing and when you pull this cord... <gasps> it actually takes off so if you pull it off... that happens i wouldn't just fly it around i would actually point it like this and then i would try and shoot my brothers let's see if i still got it richard come here quickly the cop actually moves you in the side of the head and these flappy things actually gives you a little bit of residual damage. Then 
I found some fax paper. Now, before emails, yes, there was a time before emails, can you imagine that? People sent letters via telephone. I always remember um, when I heard the phone ring, I'd get all excited. Ooh, someone's calling me. I'd run and I'd see that it's a fax for my father or my mother or something. Back when McDonald's used to actually give you toys with your Happy Meals, I'm so thankful that they stopped that because I can't even imagine the amount of plastic waste that was created during that era. Um, I think they stopped last year. Did they stop last year? Did they still give out plastic toys? Um, someone's child, please comment in the comment section below in the note box. I collected a full-on Ronald McDonald. This is all separate, so you have to actually buy Happy Meals and get the core. You have to get the body. I think I'm gonna keep this. This is like, hopefully gonna be worth millions in the future. Does anybody else have one of these? I feel like it's a collector's item now. I don't know if it's like 10 or 20 years old, but yeah, I thought that was quite interesting. Ronald. <laughs> Did anybody else collect McDonald's toys when you were a kid? Um, let me know what your favorite collection was. Um, this was mine. We're living for the red and the yellow fantasy. Sugars. But there's actually so much cuck in my house that I haven't cleaned out yet. The lockdown is a perfect time to just look around the house and find old gems, old memories that you might have laying around in the house. But um, from me to you, I hope that you stay safe, stay isolated, distance yourself socially, mentally, physically, all of the distance. Give me... 30 meters, please. But we will be fine and all of the best to you and your beautiful family. Share this video on Facebook or your family WhatsApp group or to your friends so that we can just share some happiness and positivity in these dark times. And as always, thank you and for check.